we have this value, elasticity of demand, which again gives us information about what's going to happen to demand, whether we increase, decrease price. But that information only works when we have this value, E of P. So in order to calculate that, we need to start off with a price demand equation, X equals F of P. So keep in mind, this is just a price demand equation solved for the X variable, or solved for that demand variable. So as long as we have that price demand equation solved for X, then we can calculate elasticity of demand by constructing this function negative P times the derivative of that price demand function divided by the original price demand function. So once we construct this function, we can substitute in any price point to get that value for elasticity. So in our first example, we want to use the price demand equation below to find this elasticity function, E of P. So what's important to note here is that this function is already solved for X, meaning the way we have this written P is our independent variable, X is our dependent variable. So to get this elasticity function, E of P, we would take negative P times the derivative of our price demand function. If we had a more complex function, we could turn to Wolfram Alpha for this, but this one is pretty easy to calculate. This will be negative 325. divided by 15,000 minus 325p. So again, what we have is negative p times the derivative of that price demand function over the original price demand function. And while I didn't use Wolfram Alpha to calculate that derivative, we can turn to Wolfram Alpha to reduce that expression for us. So typing that function in exactly as I found it initially is just going to simplify that numerator. The two negatives are going to cancel each other out. But if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see some alternate forms. So see, these are some different reduced versions of that same function. So this function that initially started with some larger numbers, we can see that we could divide through. We could simplify this to 13p over 600 minus 13p. So what that's going to do is give us a simpler function to work with. And now we have an elasticity of demand function. So we could take a given price point P, substitute that in, and find that corresponding elasticity of demand. 